I'm not living in denial. I'm just taking the time to disconnect from it because I want to give this a chance to see what's going to happen. Now, the more I'm quiet, it's a transition from the head to the heart. The more I start to feel my heart's open, the more I start to feel the presence, the more I feel love. Something starts to get stronger here. It bubbles up. One way of saying it is my vibration rising to a higher frequency or my heart starts to open to the presence, to love, the divine self. I'm starting to recognize Her Majesty the Supreme is here. God is here. Love is here. And it takes over. The mind becomes quiet and the source, the force shows its Who's the boss? Who's running the show? And I'm definitely taken care of. And in that, as your vibration starts to rise to a higher frequency, the outer world, the world outside you, which here in the 3D you were facing it and it was chaos because your mind is chaotic too. It's all chaos. But now you're coming to the world of silence. So the outer world begin to shift. Harmony begin to appear in your life. This is opposite of what a lot of people are teaching. And I don't want to name teachers. And they're all teaching about positive visualization, positive thinking, positive affirmation. None of that stuff. They're all activating your mind. You have to stop all of it. And just be quiet. Did any of it make any sense, uh, Rachel? Not only makes sense, I think, um, so what you're saying is when you're withdrawing your attention from something that maybe it's a truth or it's not a truth, by withdrawing your attention and being silent, it allows for the real truth to emerge, which is joy, which is bliss. Absolutely, you got it. And okay. that is what very little people in this lifetime do. So the, the, the more you recognize that, the more wisdom and knowledge come. So give yourself this opportunity and dive into it for a while. You can always go back to your old ways, but give it a try and see what happens. Hi, Shadi. Nice to have you. Good seeing you. Happy you could make it today. Yeah. Keep in mind that the pseudo-spirituality, the spirituality is being taught and practiced right now in past maybe 15 years. 
and it's very attractive and it's really out there has never produced an enlightened being. There's never been an enlightened master, prophet, saint, sage, that has a busy mind. All of awakened beings, they all have come to silence. They all have gone beyond the mind. I'm not saying if you come to full realization that the mind is not there. But you have surpassed the mind. You have discovered silence. Thoughts come and go, but you're no longer taking them as you. And it's very simple. You can't be your mind You can't be aware of your thoughts and be your thoughts in the same time. Because if you were your mind, if you were your thinking thoughts, you would have never been aware of it. That would have been your only reality. You must be outside of the mind that you can observe it. People come and tell me, I have a very busy mind. I have so much thoughts. Well, how are you aware of them? You have to be somewhere else in silence. That is aware of a mind going crazy. Similarly to your emotions, you wake up in the morning and you wake up with anxiety. All of a sudden, you just woke up for no apparent reason, you're feeling anxiety. Okay. And you treat it with whatever you have to do. But you wake up in the morning and you feel very grim. You feel sad, you feel depressed. But you're aware that you're depressed or you're aware you have anxiety. So then you do your morning ritual, whatever you do, and by noon, the anxiety is no longer there or the sadness or depression is no longer there. Now you're neutral. Then you get some good news or your girlfriend calls you and says, hey, let's go out, have lunch together. So you go out to a nice place, having lunch, having a glass of wine, you know, some are beautiful and now you're happy. So now you're aware that you're happy. So in the morning you were aware you had anxiety or you had depression. At noontime, you're aware that you're neutral. By, by afternoon, you're aware that you're happy. Something must be still and not changing that can observe these different emotions come and go. So something inside you is not affected. Something inside you is still and it's silent. That is aware of the mind being busy, that is aware of emotions come and go. And that same one has been observing your body changing. 